As a business owner, we always like to use Excel or Google Sheet when it comes to the data management. But let me share you some features about Microsoft List and then you will realize that why Microsoft List is way powerful than Excel and Google Sheet. So what is List? List is a data management tool like Excel and Google Sheet but it is way organized and also you can customize its view and you can also customize its format. So let me share my screen so you will get better idea about Microsoft List. So let me share my screen. Again, if you want to access Microsoft List, you need to log in in Microsoft365.com using Microsoft365.com URL and your Microsoft login. Once you will logged in in Microsoft 365, there you can see App Launcher and there you can see List. Click on List and it will take you on the home page of List page. There you can see all the list created by you or your organization. These are the list created by my organization to manage my organization's data. So there you can see we have multiple lists like demo list, le demo lead and leads. This is how you can create your list and you will get from here. Apart from that, you can see here we have some uh, three dot and click on three dot. You will have setting and then share in setting. You can change the name, you can change the color, you can change the icon for this list and you can delete the list. Apart from that, if you want to share with someone within your organization, outside your organization, like in every Microsoft application, they have share options. So you can share with, with your department, with your uh, colleague, with your team, as well as you can share with the external person. That is what you can do from here. So you can come here and you can select the option you want to share with anyone else or you want to share in your organization, share with existing access and people you choose. If you want to select uh, share with a uh, people from your department, you can easily go here and click share. Then you can click here and you can see, uh, for example, if I want to share with a uh, a department I will go here and select STW HR and I will have HR department here so this is how I can select and I can also add an email to whom I want to share this particular list you can also change the access from here from view to edit and in case of with anyone you will have the date and password so on this particular date this link will expire and if you will set a password people can access your link and access your list after uh, giving that password so this is how you can secure as well even you are sharing a link so these are the sharing features and the settings uh, let's come to the creating a new list so we can see how it is similar to the Microsoft Excel our Google Sheet. So let me create a new list. So now we will create the list and compare with the Excel and Google Sheet the features we have in Excel in Google Sheet and features we have in Microsoft List. So you can click here new list and it will open a, a box where you can see we have four options. You can create a list from you can just create a blank list. You can create list from existing list. You can create list from Excel and you can create list from CSV. Apart from that, if you have these kind of custom requirement and these templates are ready here, these are the ready-made templates. For example, issue tracker, employee onboarding, travel request, work progress tracker. So these are the custom ready-made templates if your requirement is matching with these templates you can use any of those so i'm going to create a list from blank list so i will type name here demo lead and you can select a color from here like red and then you can select a icon i'm going to select this and you can select a, a place where you want to save 
so I'm going to use my list create and it will create a new list so in Excel you can see by default you get a column then you can add a title there is no way to add a title in in Microsoft Excel or Google Sheet what we do is we add for we treat first column first row as a title row but here you can add a title uh, for you can add a row type a column as well so for example I'm going to add a new column that is client so I will add client and that is a text kind of then again I will add a new column that is date and time and I will use create it date then I will save I will add one more column that is choice and I will use status and I will add options like open closed and progress So this is how you can add uh, multiple choice if you want to add more you can add from here you can set a default option that is open and save then we, you can add location is equal to you can add address and location you can add state city and this is what you want in location so I'm saving this and then you can see everything is added uh, here related to your address so this is how you can create your uh, list when it comes to the managing data in Excel and Google Sheet you are just adding first row and treating as a header but here you can easily create header and also you can select the format which kind of format you want in Excel you can easily uh, sort your columns by dragging here and there so that is what you can do as well you can drag here so you can see the client is the first column and title is the second column then you can also drag it and you will have the title as a first column and client as a second column so and the third feature we have google sheet in excel uh, google sheet and in excel is editing in line so here you can also go and type title like demo one client name you can type like uh, Sandeep then created date we can select from this calendar that is what you will not easily get in Microsoft Excel or Google Sheet status you can select from here address you can enter a location and i'm not going to fill all those kind of data but demo to then anu then we have again we will add the date and time then we will have in progress and then you can exit from grid view so this is how you can easily insert data apart from that if you want to insert data in a more organized way you will use this and here you can again type the title demo 3 and client name you can take a look and you can select a date from here so i'm going to select a date that is in closed or uh, let's have in progress and then we'll save it so this is how i added three records here so you can see easily compare like you can also enter data using grid you can also enter data using form you can arrange your columns and that's what you have in microsoft excel and google sheet apart from that here you can see you can change the view you you can come here and select format current view so in excel and google sheet if you want to add the conditional formatting it's very hard but here you will select the conditional formatting and add a rule for example let me click here and if 
क्लाइंट नेम इक्वल टू संदीप सो आई विल एड संदीप एंड देन आई विल एड कलर लाइक दिस सो यू कैन सी यू कैन इजिली फॉर्मेट दिस कॉलम एंड दैट इज नॉट इजी इन गूगल इन एक्सेल एंड गूगल सीट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एड फॉर्मेटिंग फॉर अ कॉलम यू कैन ऑल्सो गो हियर एंड एड सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ रूल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ स्टेटस इज इक्वल टू ओपन देन यू कैन सेट कलर लाइक दिस सो यू कैन सी वी कैन इजली फॉर्मेट कॉलम एज वेल and row as well just by adding few conditions and that is not easy in excel and google sheet also you want to change the view in a different uh, like a calendar view or some other kind of view you will click on create new view and this is the default view we are using but if you want to use calendar view you will select the calendar view and then you can uh, use the default layout like week or month and you will use the created date you will type here calendar view and create and now you can see your view in a format of calendars for from here you can change your view but right now it's in a week or month view so that's more better than you can also create your data from here so that's the power you can't do that in excel and google sheet if you would if you want to create new view like gallery you will select and create a new view gallery view and create and now you can see your data is in a format of gallery view and the fourth option the third option for view is board view so you can go here and select the status and give the name like board view and you can change the view in a board view so you can see like if you have a kind of sequential uh, status you can create view like this you can drag and drop and you can change you can see the status is getting changed so this is how you can change status automatically by just dragging here dragging the card from one bucket to the different bucket so that is uh, you can see like you are able to manage data you are able to arrange data you are able to add new columns you are also able to uh, manage the formatting you are all also able to manage the the view the fourth option available here which is making it more powerful that is filter so you can come here and just select that which data you want to see and which data you want to exclude from filter and that's the data you can see in your board and because of all these features i personally recommend that microsoft list is way powerful than microsoft excel and google sheet the one more option which is making it more powerful that is automate so let me go back to the list view and here you can see we have set reminder so you can set reminder for created date and you will get reminder apart from that you can create rules for example create a rule when a column is changes you want that one email should go when column data is getting changed you want that one if column value is getting changed then you will get notification you want that a new item is created you should get notification or a new item is deleted you should get notification so let's create a a rule for here for example sandeep so i am adding myself here to get notification i am adding anoop here to get notification and creating that notification you can see when any item is created send email to sandeep and anu so that the rule is created so i'm going to create a new item here that is no t so by me when item when item is created so i'm going to add just any name here sandeep and i will select a date 
so let me add uh, anything here open and save so i should get an email for this so let me check my inbox and i'm going here it might can take few seconds and after that we'll get so let me refresh browser so that's not the my email let me use my actual email so let me change so here you can see demo demo was added just wait for a few seconds and after that we will have that notification So you can see like the Sandeep Mishra added notify me when item created. So you can see added in demo lead. So this is how you will set a notify me or automated rule. Apart from that, you can also create some auto, uh, automation like you can create your own flow that when data is getting changed or anything you want with this list and you want to uh, you want to trigger some kind of actions you can create from here create a flow and you can go here in power automate and you can create a flow here so that is what you can do which you can't do in microsoft excel and google sheet and that's why in today's time i feel that if you want to manage your data microsoft list is the best data management tool with this we come to the end now it's up to you you need to make decision that which one is the best tool when it comes to the data management microsoft team microsoft excel or google sheet if you like my content please like and subscribe my channel so whenever i will upload this kind of video you will get notification if you want to do free business automation assessment please visit stw-automation.com there you will get free template fill the template and you will get detailed report about your business automation status see you in next video till then bye this is sandeep misra signing out